Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Silent Court, here with your latest Watch Dogs tips, tricks and information. If you're enjoying the content, go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe for more daily content. Today I'm going to be showing you a few really helpful tips on how you can actually tell if someone has infiltrated into your game and even though the game hasn't told you yet, there's still a few telltale signs to let you know when somebody's actually physically in your game. So people can enter your game through a couple of methods, either through tailing or through hacking. Now through both of these methods, somebody can actually come into your game and the game won't tell you first of all, it's only if they actually initiate a hack that you'll actually be informed that someone is in your game. Now if somebody actually does infiltrate into your game, they'll have a big advantage over you. They'll be able to see exactly where you are, you'll have a marker, they'll be able to follow you and you won't have a clue that they're even in your game and uh, they'll also be dressed like a random NPC. So even if you did spot them, unless you profile them, you won't be able to tell that's actually another player. Now obviously there's a few telltale signs you can sort of see if someone's driving erratically or revving their engine a lot. That usually is a good indication that it is a player, but there is actually a few features that are disabled when another player is in your game. The first of which is the pause menu. Now when you pause the game, it's supposed to completely freeze it so you kind of have this silhouette of the city and it's completely frozen. Now if somebody's in your game, it won't be frozen, it'll still be moving. And as you see when I paused the game there, it was still moving so I had a complete heads up that somebody else was in my game. So I know they're in my game, but they don't know that I know that they're in my game. <laughs> The next mode that's also disabled is focus mode. Now you'll see when I activate fo focus mode, you'll see me do it a few times in this clip. I'm actually seeing like it's focus mode, but it doesn't actually slow down time. So you get the, the blurred effect like it is happening, but the cars and the NPCs, they're still walking and moving at real speed. This is another indication that somebody is in your game. So since the person infiltrating into my game hadn't yet activated a hack, what I wanted to do is jump on the bike and get myself to a complete advantageous location. I have the heads up on this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the gameplay and show you how I play this one out without even having to profile my target. So here we go, enjoy the gameplay. Alright guys, as you saw, the guy that infiltrated into my game didn't make it very hard for me. You know, he ran me over, so it was a bit obvious to see that that was the hacker, and I was able to shoot him without even profiling him. And when you do that, it means that if I was to profile him, he would have had an indication that I profiled him, and he would have drove away. But what I did is I just shot him straight away, and it, it didn't risk any car chase, you know, I just ended the, the fight right there. So I hope you guys can use this to your advantage when you're playing Watch Dogs. Just remember, if your pause menu doesn't pause and your focus mode doesn't slow down time, then somebody is in your game. I tend to switch on my focus mode quite a lot when I'm free roaming or doing collectibles because I know that's when I'm most at risk from uh, somebody infiltrating my game. So I activate them on every now and again just to check that I'm now safe. As always, if you guys wanted to take one second to check out my social media links in the description of this video and follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, that would really mean a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.